Before going into the guide for this boss, I want you guys to first to know your class better. So firstly guys, you're gonna go to guides, then training room. In this room, you will try these two, stop monsters. And by the way, if you selected any skill like this one, you will see that this is called a stagger, has a stagger medium. And this one has uh, a stagger medium. Then this one has stagger mid to high this one has high stagger this one doesn't have stagger at all this has a medium stagger this one doesn't have any stagger so you need to know which skills you should use when the boss is making this orange bar and secondly guys you need to know that actually there is type of bombs which is this bombs here it's called river grenades this one has a high stagger rate and normally this bomb will be better than any skill that you have so we use it if we are desperate and we cannot impair the boss in time. And most of the bosses you will be desperate and you will need these grenades. For the second thing I need to know is the weak point. Some of your skills has a weak point on it. Let's say this one here has a weak point level 2. This one here has a weak point level 2. So you need to select all the skills. Depends on your class and see which skills has a weak point. So, uh, the weak point is used to break a shield or something like, you know, this one. Once I use this skill, it, the word destruction will appear on the boss. If you don't have enough destruction skills, there is actually also a bomb that can help you doing that, which is the destruction bombs. And just like the previous boss, you need to get air to be able to survive. You can get it either from plants or from the bubble that comes from the ground. For the first boss mechanics, he will spawn two small monsters. You can see them on the minimap and you need to use weak point to destroy their shield. Then after that, just kill the monster. It's easy to kill, by the way, but you need to use weak point skills first so you can destroy the shield and by the way they spawn in two different spots so you can see them on the minimap and you can actually make part one go first monster and part two go second monster or it doesn't matter then after that you should impair the boss or stagger the boss And just like the previous boss, be careful from the yellow attacks because the yellow attacks take the oxygen from you. So you need to be really careful about the yellow attacks. And also guys, this boss has some special mechanics like this gun. If you have this gun, don't point this gun into uh, any other play because you will damage him. And there is also this pistol mechanic. If he is holding the pistol, that means the red area is the... Uh, uh, the safe zone if he is pulled is holding the other gun that he has with the, it calls anchor just go to the blue area for the second boss it's quite easy just kill the fish one once it shows up and also this boss can hold someone so try to stagger the boss before he kills this guy so he damaged this guy by a lot so stagger him like that yeah this is the mechanics of the second and before the third boss starts you need to take positions so everyone has a certain area and you need to remember who is before you and who is after you. So for the mechanics guys, you need to move clockwise and take yellow or white orb first, then take the other type of orbs. So if you took the yellow orb first, then you will take yellow, then you will take white, then you take yellow, etc. That's why we are moving in order clockwise. And that X8 guy, the boss do the mechanics again, but the pattern it changes, you need to take three orbs clockwise, then stop moving, take one orb, then move again. So as you can see guys, I will take the first orb, then the second white orb, then the third yellow orb, then I will stop moving to take the other white orb, then I move again. 